we're gonna run up in here and get a color called hematoma. But if they don't have it, we're not gonna get a sample. It's no secret that this is just brown and yellow. All right, back to the drawing board. There it is, y'all. Actually have one of my son Landon's bruised bananas. It's today's color of the day. Cat, don't you be messing with my plastic up under my tree now. This is what Santa Claus gave to me. It's some um, swim bait blend. Okay, we are up at the Tallahassee Bass Pro Shops where none of us are actually Bass Pros, uh, but they make us feel that way and that's what's important. So a uh, nice chilly day today and uh, man, it'll be a nice day to be in the shop making baits. I will not be sweating. Uh, there is no Florida heat to be found, so I've got on my World's Worst Fishing hoodie jacket. Get yours in the Teespring link below uh, where I have a, a small um, small little um, group of merchandise that you can get. So we're going to run up in here and get a color called Hematoma. So I've been doing a couple color match videos recently, kind of throwing it back to my beginnings. And one that keeps coming up always is Hematoma. And I'll let you in on a little secret. Hematoma is just your black and blue, whatever your favorite black and blue laminate is, but you kind of swirl it, you kind of sea block it, you mix it up. Um, so we're gonna go here and actually get an example of Hematoma and try to match it dead on. Get it, dead on? Um, so anyway, we will be right back and uh, we'll take a look at whatever we found. I wanna get Yamamoto's version of it if I can find it. Uh, if not, I know Reaction makes it in some of their uh, beaver style baits. Okay, Bass Pro did not have a single bag of plastics with the name Hematoma on it. I couldn't find jack crap. So now we're going to go try Academy across the road. And if they don't have it, we're not gonna get a sample. Okay, we are about to pull a fast one on you guys. Uh, bad news for all of you Hematoma lovers. We're not doing that anymore. I could not find a sample, and I really want a sample for that one. Um, I just, I think to do it justice, it's so, it's such a dark color. It's swirling black and blue together. It's hard to really see it in pictures. And I don't know, I just think we can do a better job in person. However, I did find a sample of another color that's been requested a lot that I've always wanted to make that looks super fun bruised banana so get your dual injectors ready everybody get your brown colorant out get your yellow colorant out get your favorite worm mold because we are about to milk some cow and make some bruised banana okay so this is my bass tackle flat worm it's a six and a half inch finesse worm very similar to the worm here uh, so i've laid it in the cavity and here's what's going to be very tough um, you know, these are injected by obviously a computer run injection machine. And these pulses are real fast and accurate because they're on a timer. So to get this much swirl action on, on one worm, let's grab another one here just to kind of look at two different examples. You know, I mean, you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, there's so many color changes. So the the challenge here is can I pulse it fast enough to get this many uh, swirls, so to speak, in it uh, because I'm trying to compete against a machine on a timer. So that's the challenge. Okay, here we go. So it's no secret that this is just brown and yellow. The question is how saturated do we want it to be? And really the answer is to me very saturated. That way we can see all the little swirls in there. If you think about your color, if it's too thin, okay, then it's gonna blend more together and you won't see the exact um, like lines in the swirl. So you can see very precisely where that little brown swirl is right there. If that brown was too thin, it would melt into the yellow too much. So we're really gonna load things up. This is just dead on brown, okay? Yeah, boom, and dead on yellow. This is just straight yellow. So dead on has a couple different yellows. 
this is more of a bright yellow. They have another yellow that's a little more orange. This is the bright one. So, let's see what we have. This is Denon Plastics uh, Black Bucket Swim Bait Blend. We're just gonna go with a medium blend because we're not only gonna do worms, but we're gonna see how this color looks in a few other shapes and sizes as well. Just kind of across the spectrum of baits. And uh, I think that'll be pretty exciting. You know, if I was just making worms, I would probably use worm blend, of course. But we're gonna make this in a few other things. I'm really curious to see what it uh, looks like um, in some creature baits. And to me, this would also, oh, are we out of focus? To me, this would also make a really cool uh, frog color, in my opinion. Okay, now we're gonna drizzle some out and see how they do. Kind of simulate a swirl. Okay, so what we can see right there is that the yellow is kind of lost in that. You can see the yellow is way too thin, okay? Even where we just dumped that yellow on top of the brown, you can still see way too much brown. So those swirls are not gonna look good at all. Well guys, that's about as close as I'm gonna get it without Zoom's recipe. Now this, bear in mind, has salt in it, which does alter the color somewhat. Um, I am not using salt because so we're gonna go with this. I think that looks very, very, very good. So my plastic is reheating in the microwave and because it's a pretty chilly day, uh, you want your blending blocks to be warm, right? You don't want the plastic to get squeezed down into the narrow channels inside the blending block and then set up on you too fast and then you don't get the full you know, um, volume of your plastic. So I'm basically just gonna blast these with this uh, torch here. Then, oops, and then you can do the same thing with your injectors. No, just blast around the top and just at least get them back to a comfortable temperature. You know, that way they're not 40 degrees uh, because that just, that cools your plastic way too fast. And of course, if you're in a much colder part of the world or the country, um, you can obviously preheat these things uh, better on your heat griddle or whatever heat surface that you have. Um, you know, me, I only want just a few key parts to be warm. Uh, that's why all of this is not on the griddle. Um, so in order to milk the cow to pulse our injector to get our uh, swirl effect, we need to take the dual injector apart. This is how we get the swirls, okay? And I know in the comment section, I'll get a lot of comments here um, asking, hey, what happens if you uh, just uh, inject your blending block normally, but then spin it as you inject to get the swirls? That doesn't swirl, you have to pulse it. That way one color goes in, then the next color, then the next color. Okay, I've got the camera way, way back here so that hopefully we can see the injector pulsing. Uh, it's hard to capture all of this on camera, um, but here we go. We're going to milk the cow with our uh, worm molds here and hope for the best. Basically, we want, we want to go right, left, right, left. Here we go. I'm going to do it fast. I don't think those did very well. All right, not feeling too confident in that one, but we'll see what happened. Okay, here we go. Bruised banana, this is the first mold. I think, and I've stressed the word think, I think I pulsed a little better on the next one, so if this one's bad, those might be a little bit better. Here we go, drum roll please. Dun 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 dun. I have a bad feeling about this. Ugh, okay, not great, not terrible. Definitely not enough swirl action. Yeah, not even close. We got the colors right though. You can see, did not get the swirl that we want. 
it tried to swirl. Yeah, no good. No good. From a bait making standpoint, those are garbage. From a working worm standpoint, those will absolutely catch a fish. Let's see if we did any better here. It's gonna be a tight, okay. We got a lot, okay. I actually need to thicken up my colors. You can see on these, on a few of them, we had a lot more different color changes. A little bit closer. Okay, why are all the bottoms brown? <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be tough. This mold may not swirl well, you know? You, most of the time when you see people swirl, it's in a Ned or a stick worm, a completely round worm. It seems to do a little bit better. So we're, we are trying the impossible here. Okay, that's not, a couple of those don't look terrible, but they do not look like the Zoom. So we're going to have to try and swirl better however we can. And I think thickening up the colors will help. Yeah, that one right there is no good. So these, man, they're trying. They are definitely trying. That is tough. All right, back to the drawing board. All right, we are way back this time for round two. I put so much pigment in those two colors that if both colors do not show up in that worm, then I honestly don't know how else to do it. Um, it's up to me if this comes out right. So here we go. Okay, those definitely felt a little better for whatever that's worth. All right, let's look at round two. See how we did. These felt a little bit better, and I do think that the increased saturation should have a better effect. And it did, look at that. We can actually kind of see some swirlage going on, lots of yellow. You know, and, and maybe depending on what side each color on it, uh, is makes a difference. Let's look at the back sides of these. Oh yeah, look at that. There it is, y'all. There it is. Let's get out our sample. There it is. Come on. Ech. Oh, those did even better. Oh my God. Look at that. There it is. Yep, that absolutely, what, yeah, that first round sucks. Look at these. Oh my Lord, we got it, y'all. We freaking did it. There it is. There it is. Yes. Look at that. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. I wasn't sure if we were gonna get it, but look at this. We even got it better than zoom. Our swirls are a little bit more even all the way through the cavity. Yes! <laughs> Man, this was a tough one, you guys. Like, after that first round, I was like, uh-oh, we might not get this one. All right, let's look at the third mold here of round two. Yeah, a shoot. I, this is getting exciting now, guys. Oh, my God. There it is. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that's so money. I feel accomplished. This was absolutely awesome. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So much fun. Okay, we got to have a little fun here and bag up our own bruised banana worms next to the zooms. 
So we're just gonna grab them here. Eh. Throw them in our bag. And I get a lot of questions about how to add scent, right? Well, this is when you do it. Here's some cherry scent. And this is going to double as our worm oil lubricant, okay, for the bag. And you don't wanna to add too much oil to a bag because that will actually soften the baits. It will kind of soak into the plastic. The resin will absorb it. And then you're actually, um, and then you're kind of actually messing with your plastic a little bit. You're altering the bait. So we want to get this oil in there real good. Yeah. And now we have our uh, worms here. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, now we're gonna try it in a crawl and then the stinger, and we're going to use the Angling AI C block for these molds. It will give us that random uh, mix between the two colors, and it works particularly well with a crawl and creature style mold. And the best part is you can run it like a normal laminate block. No milking the cow. Here we go. Just like that. Looking good, looking good. Okay. That should do it. There we go. Okay, let's see how the stingers did. The grass grenades, oh yeah, super cool. Let's check out the other side. Oh, the other side is masterful. Look at that. Look how awesome that C block does. Isn't that something? All right, let's get out the, uh, the other ones. Open up this mold here. Okay, got a lot of brown on that side. Seems like the yellow went to the other side. So it's like you, you get one side that's different than the others. Yeah, very cool. I love the randomness of it. Boom, now let's look at that ecto crawl. All right, let's take a look at the ecto crawl here. Should be gorgeous, and it is. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this bruised banana madness that that claw right there had a little bit of a dent but look at that is that not cool oh my gosh ridiculous ridiculous look at the back sides too Ugh. all right well i'd say this color pretty much kicks you know what in everything. Y'all want to see what it looks like in one more mold? One different mold? Yeah. Let's see what it looks like in one more mold. Yes, sir. Y'all knew it was coming. Those of you who watched my Swamp Swirl video from last week would have guessed that, yes, we would have C-blocked this in the Atomic Toad. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> if that doesn't crack you up, you ain't got no sense of humor. We actually have one of my son Landon's bruised bananas. He likes to eat them like that. So there you go. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Let's uh, take a look here. Yeah. yeah. Get a shot of the zooms too there. You can see that the salt slightly kind of dulls their colors a little bit and obviously you know, I'm not using the same pigments as Zoom or Southern Plastics, whoever actually runs that. So, you know, it's hard to get everything exact, but that is how you match the color. So I hope you guys have enjoyed, um, you know, real simple formula today, just three things and a dual injector and look at how much fun you can have. So yeah, awesome. Thank, uh, thank you so much everyone for watching. 
And uh, I hope we will see you next time on the World's Worst Fishing. Please shoot me lots of comments below. Like and subscribe. Really trying to build the channel. Tell your friends. It's a fun hobby. And even if they don't make baits themselves, they might enjoy uh, seeing some of my experiments. So with that said, hope everybody has a Merry Christmas season. And we'll catch you next time. So before we do today's color of the day, got to give a shout out to Austin Hall at Middle River Baits. This is his River Raptor. It's this giant kind of snake-tailed raptor. That's the only way to put it. Nice little skin pour here. Now this is a silicone mold and uh, incredible detail. Awesome bait. If you want to see some wicked unique stuff like this, uh, check out Middle River Baits. Okay, today's color of the day is Red Bug. Got some nice worm blend there, dead on plastics, um, black bucket worm blend. And of course, we're gonna go the easy way. We're just gonna use some Red Bug color, all right? This stuff is beautiful. However, word of warning, it bleeds bad. Do not put these with other baits in your tackle box. Certainly do not package these with other baits um, because your other baits will turn red bug. <laughs> and there's pretty much no way around that. Like most reds, it does bleed. So word of warning there. <clears throat> Now we're gonna add small green flake. This is 0 0.015. And we're gonna add a pretty good deal of it. We want it to really show up. And then of course from here, you have the option to darken this with maybe a drop of black or maybe accent it with another color flake. Just whatever you think is appropriate. But we're gonna show you just red bug in its truest form, um, which is just red bug color and small green flake. So a little bit more and then we're good to go. All right, we're just gonna see how many molds we can get. This is a bass tackle kind of swimming worm. This is the AI kicker tail worm. And then this is a grub from AI as well. Um, let's just see what we can get. Okay, it would appear we got all three, so that's cool. All right, let's see how we did. Let's open up this grub first. Well, maybe. There we go. Oh yeah. Looking good. Such a pretty simple color. And y'all let me know if I'm ever repeating myself on the color of the day. I don't exactly make a list. I just uh, kind of think, hmm, what's a good simple color that I could show everyone that they could then run out into their shop and make immediately if they've never tried? Yeah. So hopefully I won't have any duplicate co color of the day. That's awesome right there. And last but not least, kicker tail worm. Yeah. Kind of straighten those back out a bit. There we go. Okay, and there it is. Simple red bug is today's color of the day.